Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I know it's been long uh, since I've made one, but uh, here I am back with a quick video, not much of uh, voiceover here because I have other things to do, but uh, today it's 24th of January and Forspoken came out, so I decided to test and see how the next gen game actually runs on Intel Arc A770, so let's go! Here we'll be using uh, graphic settings, uh, they have some presets in there, you will see, uh, only 1440p this time, sorry for not doing uh, 1080p and 4K, it will be a quick short video, you will see the game is not that well optimized, so uh, yeah, here we have ultra high preset, it's, as you can see, no FSR, nothing, uh, yeah, I forgot to scroll down, but uh, there's also ray tracing, ambient occlusion, you will see the settings later. But uh, yeah, uh, I already did some intro, I don't want to spoil even the demo, so we will just click on the continue button and left off after the cutscenes when it starts. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy, watch the, the FPS the counter. And, A I will do some voiceover here and there. Uh, in the end, you will see we have XESS. It's even in this game, so we are gonna test that out, but really uh, quick because uh, I might do a more extensive video later on with uh, comparing FSR with XESS in this game. But yeah, don't expect more than 50 FPS. 60 FPS is not possible. <laughs> Unless you put everything on low, you will see later in low preset, uh, uh, it puts FSR to ultra performance, which is really bad and everything to low, the graphics look so bad, and uh, yeah, not playable on ultra high as you can see, you at least need some kind of upscaling in here. I really advise if you are going to try the demo with your Intel card or some other card, uh, if you are running Intel, obviously try XESS, you will see it's a really good upscaling technique, works a bit better than FSR in my opinion in this demo, but for the other cards obviously use FSR because without it, I don't know, maybe it's just my system, but uh, the most I was able to get on Intel RK770 was around 60 FPS in more intensive area on low, like I said before. So. I have my system ready with 3090, we'll see how that one will perform. I'm actually thinking of buying this game, but uh, I saw the price tag of 80 euro and how the demo runs, I don't know, I don't know, I will really think about it, maybe I will wait for a sale or check some more reviews online and then decide if I'm actually going to spend. Wait to on this game, panic. where have they found this? I'd rather wait for... I don't know what game, Atomic Heart is coming right now out soon, so... That one should look good with Unreal Engine, as far as I know. We'll test that one as well, I'm definitely buying that one, so expect a video of Atomic Heart to be posted on YouTube down the line. You and, uh, yeah. No, I can't. Enjoy the video.
This seems like a good place to take a rest, don't you think? Well, look who's starting to understand where humans can and can't sleep. Rather a niche skill, I'd imagine. But thank you. Another day's adventure awaits. You make it sound like what we're doing is fun. Forgive me if I can lighten the mood. Don't let them outflank you. Not gonna happen. Ready? Ugh. Okay. Mm. Oh. Now's your chance. Here it comes. Oh. This looks like a big one.
enough with the smooth uh, 60 fps experience uh, almost 60 fps let's try to find optimized settings if we are able to do that as you can see we have xess super sampling from intel once i switch that to uh, on my game froze for a bit but uh, because fsr had to be turned off and this came back on so yeah i thought the whole system was gonna crash because the sounds were unbearable <laughs> when it processed uh, for the change so yeah here i am you can see the fps is changing while changing the settings which is good i was actually able to see how much each setting dropped the fps then uh, yeah it's a quick video i can't really tell you right now you can just see the fps which settings give the most and which don't even give any performance boost or lose so yeah, might just wait for Digital Foundry to post the video about optimized settings. I'm sure someone will be doing it. So let's just put uh, everything later on to uh, how should I say max here. As you can see, I wasn't able to get even a few FPS up by changing all the settings, ambient occlusion, the ray trace shadows. If I put ray tracing on, see only 2 FPS lost, 3 FPS. If you put the ray trace shadows, okay here we see a bit better drop for like 5 FPS but still not that major so maybe it's not that big of a difference running RT. So uh, yeah, let me just quickly see this optimized settings <laughs> if you could call them that with balanced XSS if i can get even 50 but uh, no <laughs> we are expecting more like 45 oh, fps 40. Hey, it dips even lower to 30 i was testing it for in one area so might as well just crank everything up rt textures everything to the max and put 30 fps cap let's let's just do this right now let's see how that runs if we can get maybe a stable 30 fps running around in forspoken with intel a770 graphic card so everything set to max vrs is on i guess there's no difference if it's on or off but oh, it's struggling of course it's struggling <laughs> but maybe setting to quality mode might actually do the work but mm -hmm. okay okay look at that look at that it's a holding around 30 fps which is okay playable experience playable experience let's just run around a bit and see if it drop to lower 20s lower 20s no it's actually holding up quite well maybe a drop or in rt maybe we disable the shadows and we would have 30 fps i really have to check how much of a difference actually rt shadows versus normal shadow quality on high make because if there's none and this makes it a playable 30 fps experience with almost max settings then Maybe I'm up for it. <laughs> I will play on Intel. Maybe I will play on Intel, but I'm going to check now on 3090 how it is. So, yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. I saw around 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, which makes me a bit sad, but no worries. I like to do this kind of videos. So, if you like me doing more of this, make sure to ring the subscription bell down below.